Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be, I guess, teaching everybody how to update the Mac, uh, Matco Max CR Pro A code reader. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I figured I'd show everybody just in case there's somebody who just doesn't know or threw away the instructions before they figured it out. So, even if you did figure, even if you did throw away the instructions, you could still figure it out pretty easily. So you have the the code reader here. You plug a USB C wall mount in to the wall, or you can plug it into a car. I mean, either or. I find this the easiest way, just because like normally when I do it, I wait until there's like 20 or 30 updates and then I update it, so. But, it'll turn on, like it's plugged into a car more or less. You're just obviously not gonna be able to read any codes because there's no, no car, no car. All you're gonna be able to do is just use or turn on the code reader. And once it's turned on, all you have to do is Go to update. After it, you know, decides and wants to do its thing. And if you're connected to the internet, which you can do in settings, which I'll show you in a second, once this decides and wants to refresh, and this is how long it takes, I mean, I guess. Normally it doesn't take this long. So you just boop, update, and there we go. And there's three that need updated, which is Chrysler, Hyundai, and Suzuki, but most of the time, all yours are gonna need updated. And to connect to the internet, if you don't know how to do that, you go to settings, you go to network, and you connect to your network. And that's it. That's how you update the Maco Max CR Pro A code reader. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.